Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Two Worlds 2. I'm Rick Game Master Darius. Last we left off, I had, uh, gone and finally finished off, well, not finished off that cave. I still have a scorpion within, and, uh, given the thing over to Dudicus so that he might be able to do more stuff with it. Now, you might notice that I have a pretty bitchin' axe on my side, and that is because... I decided to do just a smidgen bit of grinding, which means that I needed to grind for like two levels so that I can get to level 11 so I can use this thing. Yeah, wasn't that big of a deal. It was like a solid 30, 40 minutes. Now, there was one other thing that kept on bugging me because I've really been wanting to see what the hell this is. Enter bonus code. Now. I had gone online to see exactly what these bonus codes are. Well, not what they are, but uh, just to see whether or not they are anything of significance, something I could use, like right away-ish. Now the thing is, if these things are overpowered, I will not use them. Because I do kind of want to, you know, play this adventure out how I usually play an adventure out. Invalid bonus code entered. Oh. Huh. I enter it wrong. Six, seven, seven, zero. Nine, seven, six. Four. Nine, four, seven, zero. Ah, there we go. I had entered it wrong. <clears throat> now, apparently there's our bonus codes that you would end up getting for one reason or another. Okay, that's a little muchness. God damn. <laughs> uh, I don't know exactly where these bonus codes are. I think they come with like a certain edition of the game. In this case, mine is the HT edition of the game. Uh, wait, not that way. That's right. Was it this way? Yeah, it was this way. No, wait. Not this way. Get it. What? Oh, I think I'm doing things that the, uh... Guards find suspicious or some shit? I don't know. I was just trying to get to the exit so I can try out this sword. I suppose I could have tried it on those dudes, but eh. Yeah, <clears throat> I pretty much had just been traveling around these wide open plains, slaying every single baboon, rhinoceros, giant ant, and whatnot uh, that I can find. And I feel like I might have just slain them all to ex non existence. Oh, nope, oh, there's some. Why don't I try to press that? So this is apparently a two-handed sword? Okay, I see. Damn. Jerks. <laughs> Good. I mean, it's freaking sweet. That 100 frost damage is ridiculous I won't lie though all right let's try this other one uh this one seems like it will 100% be OP and kind of beyond the point of why even uh, six five five wait did I did I seriously put a dash there there we go also, I can't help but laugh that, uh, Resist was, uh, typoed in there. Dragon Scale Armor. Resistances to both physicals and fire. And it increases my strength by 20%. Good gods. This is what, like, you would, that's plus, that is extra. 
That is ridiculousness in the highest degrees. This is definitely some sort of in-game plate armor. Alright, let me try... There's three more of these, by the way. I mostly just wanted to show these off. Because I haven't even seen them myself. Six zero six four. Alexorian. Those are definitely some names. That's the shadow. Oh, here we are. Alexorian. Okay, this one is far more modest. A fifty slashing, fifty bludgeoning. I keep on doing that. I don't mean to. Very nice. Very... I like myself a good old basic physical damage weapon most of the time anyways. I keep in mind too that this sucker is better than what I had picked up. But not by too, too much. Like, this sucker does more bludgeoning than it does slashing, but, you know, it's still pretty good. So I dare say that for the purposes of a two-handed weapon, I would definitely end up using this. Just so as I can, you know, use a two-handed weapon, because I like two-handed weapons. Shush. Uh, this next one... Is called the Hammer of Kroll. Sounds like what could be band name. The Hammer of Kroll. I only hope it's a pretty badass hammer. Hello. Your wait, what? No bludgeoning. Your smash slashing. It's a massive meat cleaver, if anything. But it is oh, one-handed? Huh. Kind of interesting. What are the cooler looking ones so far? Well, I say so far, but there's literally one more sword. Sadness is that they all seem to be a sword or a mace. It's not really my aesthetic. Seven. Oh. No, I don't know why the hell I do these things. Lucendar. Oh! This is the weapon that Kaldahar used. Wait. What? 63 slashing, 85 skull. I mean, I have to see what the hell. Yeah. Uh-huh. you glad you met me. I will say I'm I pretty do pretty much do enjoy the uh additional <laughs> particle effects of these weapons. I just don't know what the hell 85 skulls supposed to mean. Because, uh... Good lord, that sounds terrifying. Again, of all these, I'm probably not going to use... Uh, Luciandar... Anathros... Alexorian is probably the closest one that I will use. Simply because, you know, it's not an OP one. And I don't know about this Hammer of Kroll, but it does add 20% to my strength. Yeah, that said, 244 total? Versus 222 total? It's just that I like... This may be more powerful, but I like two-handed weapons. So, yeah. And also, that said, 
I'll probably just toss all of these legendary shit into my um who's the Medusa? it hello I'll toss all the legendary shit into my treasure chest back at home And then from there, I will just kind of keep it in there until I'm like, okay, I need a big bad ash weapon. Might be a while until that happens, but still. The only other thing I did was I've been finding a bunch of materials because I've been slaying a bunch of monsters. And um, yeah, I got a bunch of it now, including Rhino Hide. That's pretty much it. Uh, so with that, <clears throat> with that in mind, I had, god damn it, keep on running into items. That in mind though, there was a location that I had found. I didn't want to explore it without running camera after a fashion. Was that it? There's the rune stones one. This is Bayon. Now ah, this was it. Old cart workshop. Uh, was button again? Yes. Just seems to be old workshop of some sort, or a cart. Maybe it's something that was uh. Bayoned in by someone in Bayon? I just don't know why the hell they have a teleporter. I suppose I could continue exploring then. I mostly just didn't want to bore people with me going, Alright, I'm going to level up for this particular piece of equipment. And then I literally do nothing but level up on a particular piece of equipment. And for the record, I would very much be murdering these guys with the axe I had been certain to use in the first place. So, you know, don't worry about it. We're doing less damage with this. But I like myself my two-handed weapons. This does mean, though, that this could be replacing a weapon, uh, basically any weapon choice that I have for a while, though. Mm. That's why I wibble wobble back and forth between, alright, I'll use it, and, uh... Oh. Stop that. Damned ostrich. Oh yeah, this is... This is pretty much what I've been doing the last, like, 30 minutes before I decided to start recording again. For exploration's sake. Oh, now I can't help but wonder whether or not I could... Hello. Okay. Well, that was done for some sort of reason. Am I going the way I think I'm going? Probably not. I am going the exact opposite way I was going. Great. Also, what the hell was this waypoint? Was that one that I placed by accident? Good chances that I did. I mean, nothing else is here. No. Not the button I'm to press. Other way. Hello? 
there even anything here? I think that might have been an accidental waypoint making. Yep. Don't quite know what all these are supposed to be, though. I mean, okay, all this is back in Bayon. I could try to... You know what? Shits and giggles. I'm gonna try that, to slay that one last scorpion that was in there. Hello? Okay. Apparently we can collect something from those little things. Alright, let's take out that scorpion. Then we can call this particular dungeon done. Come on, where are you, you bastard? Actually, do I get back? Nah, I really don't. There you are, you bastard. Oh. Yeah, it still hits hard. And that is why I still don't mess with those things. I swore I ran from like five of them, but I could be wrong. No, I hadn't. I was just, you know, being cautious. I know that this, this episode's probably been a whole lot of nothing, because, you know, I just wanted to see what the hell those secret password things are. For the most part, anyways. Still unsure about using some of them. Dragon armor seems like it would be way too strong. But for the most part, I don't know. Still don't know what the hell that death effect is. And hey, at least I was right about being able to get that sword at the start of the game. Uh, La, La Ciendar, I think it was called. Anyways, um... Let's teleport back to this old <clears throat> cart. And then just see about heading... Which way was that? This way? I really want to be able to find a Let's get this over with. half decent weapon I want to use, though. That's like in in game and not something I have to put in a code for. I said I do think that axe is bigger, is better damage than this one, but. I could also be from the fact that, you know, the axe has been upgraded. This was just freshly picked up. Another one of these. I suppose... I could do that thing where I put away my weapon so I can gain back some HP faster. What's this? Now I can only imagine that 
doing a horseback in this might be a little bit annoying. If my horse had not ran off. Hello? Oh, that one's for willpower. Neat. Not going to use it, but neat. Are we in danger land? Because let me tell you. Baboons are among the, some of the most annoying things you can face in the same, I swear. And he was a dead warthog. Right now. Yeah. Really do wish that some of the um Okay, yeah. I don't know what the words I was trying to say were. <clears throat> really do wish that some of the Things. Hello. Uh, that seems bad. Yeah. Somehow I'm doubting that the singular giant ant did this. Hello? Anyone home? Any loot I can find? I mean, I was half joking. And... At Buckler and a... Naggy pole? What the frick is a naggy pole? Huh. I'm, I'm gonna use the proud Sagarius. Even upgraded a couple of times just to be all like, okay, I'm gonna use this sucker. I really want to use two-handed weapons, but when a weapon is too good, a weapon is too good, you know. Let's get this over. With. Yeah. See, now this sucker should be on par. That's a wild scorpion out here. Why they be wild scorpions out here? Uh, let's see a little full first before we face off against the big ass wild scorpion. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. Woo. I think I was literally dead, and the game was just very merciful on me. Okay, I almost have a pattern to deal with the giant scorpions without taking much damage. Almost. Am I going south more? Yeah, I'm going south more. What am I doing? You know, there's probably more quests in Bane that I need to collect as well. I haven't really given much thought to it simply because there's things I can be murdered or experience points you see much slower Not now. Whoop. yeah game not now hey. Hey. Oop. 
God damn, where am I going? Okay, that's where the rune stone uh, rune stone on it is. Why don't we just go that way for the time being? And more things to murder over here. What all? <laughs> so one of the interesting things too is that in the uh, first game, there's items that were able to make it so as an effect was permanent. Thing is, is that I don't know whether or not that is true or or not anymore. Like, there are entire blog posts about, hey, do they have permanent items in the game like they did the first one? And people throw out calculations and shit. And I still don't fully know whether or not things are, can be made permanent. It's nauseating how much freaking I don't know about this game simply by looking at a supposedly complete guide about it. Glad you met me. D -d -d Double kill, kill, kill. Yes, at the rate at which that I am doing this, I'm probably... <laughs> ow. Probably still going to take me, like, half a video just to figure out what the hell's over here. Ooh. Yeah, we That's want big. these mountain breads. Still don't know what these are? Oh, termite eggs. Y y yum? I, mean, I guess it makes sense. They are things that you can eat. Or sustenance. Now, I was told to be careful about obtaining this uh, elvish rune stone. Um. Hello. Oh, weird graphical glitches. Water altar. Oh, for accuracy. Neat. Whoa. Hey, another one of these. I wonder how big this cave is going to be. Boop. Boop. Rude. Not somewhere nice. Yep, not somewhere nice. Let's get this over with. Oh, come on. Now I'm just hoping that this place isn't filled with these. Not just me though, right? I really wish that these suckers would only hit you with the poison and with their stinger. Alright, really quick. I had a bitchin' Yeah, this. And being able to make multiples of the same potion in one go is fan freaking tastic, I just wanna point out. Alright, I know that the best tactic for not getting poisoned is to simply don't get hit, forehead. Yeah. 
thing is with this game is that that's not exactly a very good tactic. Yeah, I'm healing just as fast as the poison is going. Means I can probably just go a little bit further forward. Until I find the next thing that's going to kill me. Can you please swap back to skeletons? Necklace. Uh, game wood. Let's, let's go ahead and drop a save really quickly. I really don't know what Dirty Trick does anymore. Apparently it helped. Let me double check that. Just a dirty trick. Restricted to use with a single hand of weapons. Only 25% chance to blind an opponent for 3 seconds. Not bad! You know, presuming it works. I'd like to smash all the eggs, please. that they will stop spawning and eating me alive. I mean, the good news is one more and I can level up. Then maybe I can regenerate fast enough so as I don't have to worry about potion, poison things. Oh, come on. That whiff. There we go. Level 12. More into strength. Can't yet increase my defensive thing. Uh, can't do metallurgy until 14th level now. Let's put one more into you. And then health region. Oh, it's poison. Okay. That makes sense. Resistance to poison damage. That seems like it would be a good idea. So let's not do that. <laughs> Like an idiot. Take physical resistance. God, how many of you bastards are left in here? I thought we were gonna worry about, you know, some sort of a trade thing, having to spend a lot of a lot of money. go like, oh hey, I wonder how much money I'll have to spend to uh, yeah. get the next room stone. Turns out, not a lot. Potions though. Potions on the other hand, you gotta eat through those. I don't like the look of this. We are going to save really quick. Shit, are there two? Ugh. Miss me? Oh no. What is this? Not just a giant ant.
I think it's just a cave full of giant ants now. Hello. How sadistic your character sounds in this is a little ridiculous. He is supposed to be some sort of a good guy, right? I mean, I know he's been imprisoned and tortured for God knows how long, but Jesus. Hey, there it is. Well, uh, I guess we're outie. Are, are we outie? Hey. It's not important. Oh, but it was not important. Wait, where are you pointing me, game? Or are you just pointing me north? It's just pointing me Mars. Okay. Actually, I wonder, would this work? No, damn it. <clears throat> I was underneath an open sky. Yeah, it's fine. Just another incidentally longer video. Because I'm good at keeping my videos under 30 minutes long. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I love when you just want to make progress. <coughs> if anything, so your next video can just continue along. But yeah. I guess I didn't need to worry that much about the scorpions. It's just that they're still pretty freaking nasty. Alright then. God damn it. And this is still ridiculous, unless I can... Nope. Return to the chamber. We, they had to have thought it was just funny that you had to go to Gortarius's room every single time that you managed to do a thing and teleport back. I was beginning to think Hatmandor got the best of you. Listen, I may have found the location of the third rune stone, but. Before I get ahead of myself, let's see that elvish stone. I mean, I have it, but I don't know how much seeing you're planning on. That kind of talk is often how freak shop accidents happen. Now listen up. Heard on good authority that the human rune stone is located somewhere on the island of Eolus. Don't know where exactly, but that's where you come in. What's in it for me? Have a little faith. Can't tell you exactly what the reward will be, but I promise you, it'll be worth the effort. All right, I'll get your stone. Great. You know where to find me when you do. Yay. I suppose I should deposit these before I go around gallivanting and slaying everything with them. Except this one. That one get, didn't get sold. Man, they don't even sell for much. That's the wild thing. Uh, get rid of that custom wood buckler. Necromancy. No. Not a huge problem with it myself. Just not my stick. 
Oh, how dare you? How dare you? Oh, I want it. I want it. I want them all. I think I already said that I wanted pretty much all the two-handed weapons, but I want them all. All right. Let's go dep deposit the weapons I have. Then I'm going to go ahead and call an episode. Or when we return. Um, I'm not sure. What? Better be worth it. Part of me wants to go back to where I had... No. Why make that the... Oh, it's fine. Just put away the naggy pole for now. The bow. Yeah, part of me does want to use the armor, but that would be just way too much. All right, that should be good. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and save. Call an episode here. When we return, uh, I suppose I should try to make some sort of progress with the story. Maybe go back to where's the It's uh, Bayon. See if I can't talk to anyone else. See if there's any other quests that need be doing. But thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. And as always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.